one. Um, also, the word depression. He is feeling depressed. The news of the country is depressing. Yani shino, causing depression. So the word here should be taken a due amount of noting here. Depression, depressed, and depressing. Oh, and a little bit of, well, it takes you about a minute and a cup of coffee to understand the difference here. <laughs> that, is, that is, of course, if you are a big coffee man. Um, Again, uh, you t discussed reason number two, right? And uh, reason number one. Now, let's jump to reason number three. I'm listening. Yes, uh, number three. Mm -hmm. What are the third reason that made you, uh, you know, this way, mature? Maybe, you know, maybe um, because... Uh, the society, uh, you must uh, uh, behave like uh, uh, maturity, uh, mature uh, huh? person. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you know because we uh, we live in um, in uh, this society uh, when when the people judge uh, on your behavior, uh, what they what they see it. Mm -hmm. from your behavior you uh, you you must uh, 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 behave like a mature pe person mm -hmm. but you know sometimes i want to uh, maybe uh, behave like a child uh, like uh, in, in my uh, nature uh, mm -hmm. uh, behavior mm -hmm. yes. okay uh, do you have people who tell you your weaknesses and you trust them and you accept what they tell you even if it is causing a little bit of negative feeling inside you yes. you don't have okay yes, but, uh, myself is, is the first uh, judge mm. that I uh, trust uh, with it mm. and do you think that's enough uh, that you yes. only have yourself to yes. why yes, because I know, I know everything uh, every uh, weak, uh, weakness mm -hmm. uh, in my side and mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, do you know your English weaknesses yes of course are you sure yes of course <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> did I add any one percent of maturity to you that's a Sorry. did i add or contribute with any maturity level to you if no that's totally fine i didn't understand you me as an english yeah. teacher me as an english teacher did yes. did i add any sense or maturity in terms of your language learning of course. now this is what I wanted to hear uh, my next question to you uh, is kind of relevant to age are our young people generally more selfish than their parents and grandparents based on your experience yes I think I think uh, more everything you talk about it it should be based on experience and you have a treasure of experiences actually yes. so I would Maybe. definitely yes. mm -hmm. yeah uh, I think maybe uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh -huh. in our in our own time in our modern time yes currently yes, nowadays maybe, yes maybe more than half mm -hmm. uh, person uh, treat uh, mm -hmm. their uh, parents uh, selfish not like uh, maybe in my age or uh, after that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Does that make you happy that you're uh, giving me a short answer? I think uh, this is not short. Answer. Do you do you feel bad when you give me a short answer? <laughs> I feel guilty. Do you feel like a criminal when you give me a short answer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, does the age make you more aware of and caring for others or not? My age? Yeah. Um, N not to yeah. say that you're, you're old or young. I'm just saying that does age have any contribution? Contribution, Yan Write it down. No, no, no. Contribution is like uh, donation, musahama. But it's not contribution, oh, yani uh, Contribute, yani, for example, there is an organization for handicapped, munadhama lil ma'awaqeen. We need to give them a little bit of contribution or donation to help them spread uh, help for handicapped and differently able people. This is the point. So, uh, my question here is, does age make you more aware and caring for others or less? My age uh, make me year after year, mm -hmm. I don't care about people. I would definitely like to hear why. Maybe uh, I trust with myself mm -hmm. more than people, and maybe because my maturity. Yeah. Or maybe because uh, the bad experiences, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, it made me uh, didn't uh, care with the, the other others. I I I know. Maybe uh, that's not good, or maybe I'm uh, mm -hmm. uh, selfish sometimes. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, I think the bad experiences uh, made me uh, what I am now. Do you think that happy experiences make you mature more? Do people get do people get experience from bad experiences or happy experiences? And of course, uh, the question should include why. Uh, can you repeat it? Do people learn from bad experiences as much as from happy experiences? No, I think uh, people learn from bad experiences uh -huh. because the pain is learning. Uh -huh. But the happiness, uh, you it made you uh, uh, forget mm -hmm. uh, to learn uh, from your uh, experiences. Mm -hmm. But I think the bad experiences, <coughs> sorry, mm -hmm. tight. Uh, learn, learn uh, our uh, learned. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the people uh, and uh, maybe change uh, uh, the maturity mm -hmm. of uh, them. Do we measure maturity by age? Like when someone reaches uh, age 18 in UK or United States, they will say, well, he's mature, he's an adult. Does that apply in Iraq? And if not, what are the signals for maturity for people to go by? Of course, uh, the age uh, uh, didn't uh, related with uh, related with uh, mm -hmm. uh, maturity. Mm -hmm. There is no related between maturity and uh, the age. Mm -hmm. But uh, I uh, <coughs> say before the bad experiences. Maybe the uh, environment that mm -hmm. uh, surround 
the person. Uh, let, let me stop you here because you're uh, in a very uh, good position to learn this expression and I want you to learn it. Um, uh, that expression is collateral relation. Relationship. Collateral relationship. Um, I want you to translate this expression here to see what it means because it's very important um, expression. We usually um, <clears throat> Uh, we usually say it in English. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's collateral relationship. Let me just type it up here. Collateral relationship. Collateral. Mm -hmm. And there is another word, and that is correlational relationship. <clears throat> correlational relationship. Um, when something happens, there is another thing that happens just because this thing happened. For, for example, uh, people cry when they see a romantic movie sometimes. Now, the act of crying is a collateral relationship to watching the movie. There is a correlational relationship. Uh, correlation, yani alaqa tardiya. Now, the older you become, the more mature you are. Hadi sama alaqa tardiya. Now, my question to you is: correlational relationship. Thanian, do you think, do you think there is a correlation in alaqa tardiya between age and maturity? Mm -hmm. I think there is no correlation. Co correlation. Who a kilimet? Co is a relation. Correlation. Correlation. Relation. Relationship mm -hmm. between age and maturity. Mm -hmm. Now, is, does that mean that you believe? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, yes, because uh, maybe sometimes we see uh, a young uh, person uh, behave maturity more than maybe uh, old men. بعض الأحيان بعض الأحيان إذا ما نعرف إنه نقول الظرف مالتها نقول in a mature way يعني بطريقة ناضجة in a mature way in a brilliant way يعني إذا ما ذكرنا أو ما استحضرنا كلمة brilliantly or actively or beautifully هذه الألوان إذا ما ذكرنا هنقول in beautiful way بطريقة جميلة بس نخلي بجميلة طريقة بالإنجليزي نقول بجميلة طريقة in beautiful way that's how uh, we go about it <coughs> yes. I want you to speak up a little bit أرفع صوتك من تتحدثين Yeah, my question is, do you think there is a correlational relationship between age and maturity? And if yes, why? If no, why? Uh, I think there is no uh, correlation mm -hmm. between uh, age. age and maturity. Because uh, sometimes we uh, see a person Mm -hmm. uh, a, a young person behave in uh, a mature uh, way uh, more than uh, uh, old person because maybe because uh, the uh, the way of his life uh, it's maybe uh, 
hard than mm -hmm. this person, or maybe uh, he grows. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 in maybe in strong way. Mm -hmm. in but, but, but that is that is so beautifully yes. put here. Uh, I really love how you used, started using that. That is very smart of you. I really appreciate it. Um, the way you you said that in a very quick and snappy way is snappy. Yani, itchy, snap of a finger. Yani, psora. Uh, it just reflects how smart you are when it comes to language practicing. And this is something that we spend weeks and weeks trying to develop in learners' skills. Okay? Uh, yeah. Tell me more. About the, uh, yes. The, yes, about your uh, question. Mm -hmm. My next question to you. <clears throat> How are you planning to take the advantage of the coming 10 years of your life? Give a detailed answer. How? How are you going to take advantage of the 10 years coming of your life? Advantage. In advantage, اللعبة انه تستمر ما تتوقف فهذه نقطة ادفانتج يعني خلى اللعبة تستمر فادفانتج هنا فائدة فائدة امتيازات ممكن بالضبط بالضبط هي كلمة امتيازات معناها privileges هذه كلمة ثانية هذه الكلمة تنكتب privileges يعني خاصة امتيازات حكومية it's written that way I'm sorry, it's not that way. It's bad spelling. Privileges. Okay, so it is written that way. It's mean. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Now, my question to you again is what is the advantage you will take out of the coming 10 years. شنو اللي الفائدة اللي حتخل تسويها نفسك في العشر سنوات القادمة؟ يعني شو راح تستغلين العشر سنوات القادمة to make it more advantageous to you? I have uh, many uh, uh, many plans mm -hmm. uh, to uh, not to change my life, no. Mm -hmm. To to make my life uh, best more than more now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Details would be. Beautifully course, put here. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I love uh, study uh, and learn very much. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing, uh, my first plan when I uh, graduate from university, uh -huh. and maybe and maybe uh, I have a new post. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know where, but uh, my plan to uh, complete my uh, uh, study mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, uh, and take master degree. I would uh, definitely support you in this kind of decision. This is the first uh, point uh, I, I wanted and mm -hmm. I plan to do it. First, uh, second, uh, mm -hmm. Second, uh, my second uh, plan, uh, I want to uh, to read uh, in one year, uh, uh, not 
less than uh, 20 book 20 books you read a 20 books every year yes mm -hmm. yes uh, to uh, to develop myself this is the first thing and mm -hmm. uh, to develop develop my my mind mm -hmm. do not uh, uh, make my mind uh, still uh, passive yes mm -hmm. um uh, i want you to speak up a little bit here um Sundas, because this is very important um now since we are talking about books that you've read um let me ask you a few questions about Frankenstein. What did you, did you read the story, first of all, yes. or any chapter? Um, three chapters. Lovely. Um, give me a summary of the three chapters in general without reading the text. Um, I would love to uh, hear your narration, Sarad Maltic, a little qasa. Uh, I don't care about, uh, you know, the, um, the names of characters. I care more about the 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 amount of time you'll spend telling me the story and what you learned from the story. What does the story uh, carry in its own wings? You know, as a moral lesson. Here, but speak, raise your voice or get closer to headphones. Mm -hmm. It's good now. It is good now, but I just want you to speak up a little bit. Speak up, Yanni, raise your voice when you speak. Um, the story about uh, uh, two persons. Talk to me as if you are angry. The story of Frankenstein is blah, blah, blah. You know? <laughs> I want you to speak like that. The story of Frankenstein uh, talks about uh, two persons. Uh, fall in love and married, and uh, they uh, uh, live in uh, mountains. Mm -hmm. And they have they had uh, uh, many friends. Uh, they met meet with them. Mm -hmm. uh, Some day uh, they uh, uh, they decide to uh, everyone uh, write a story. Yeah. Say, uh, and they uh, 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 well first of all first of all I want you to tell me a summary of the story in Arabic because I want to hear if you synthesized it well then tell me a summary of the story in English does that work yes okay but شخصين التقوا يعني صار علاقة بينهم وتزوجوا ساكنين سكنوا في ما في سويسرا سويسلاند وبالجبال كان عندهم أصدقاء وفي كانوا يتقون ويجلسون يعني يتحدثون ففي يوم قرروا إنه كل شخص يعني يكتب قصة مرعبة يختارون القصة الأفضل <تصفيق> فماري اللي هي صاحبة القصة تمام القصة بشكل كان يعني رائع صورة الأحداث فتبدي القصة بالبداية كرسالة مرسلة <تصفيق> عن شخص يتحدث أنه هم كانوا بالبحر في يوم ماشيين والبحر جليد يعني كان فشافوا شخص ضخم جدا يعني كل شيء من البرودة ميت بس هو يعني عايش أخذوه وياهم كان حزين وساكت وما يتكلم في يوم بدأ يتكلم قصته يتحدث عن القصة ماله اللي هي هو اسمه فرانكستاين هو الشخص <تصفيق> فبدأ يتحدث القصة تبدي أحداثه بالفترة اللي تم اكتشاف بها الكهرباء وكان في هذه الفترة إنه العلم هو اللي مسيطر <تصفيق> على ال يعني كانت كان عندهم هوس التجارب العلمية وبال <تصفيق> فهو كان في يعني عائلة 
آه بنت أب وأم وأعتقد هو واحدة أو عنده أخ نسيت يعني بالضبط المهم في يوم من الأيام آه أمه آه زارت آه بيت وشافت طفلة عندهم هم مربيها هي كلش حبتها فأخذتها آه وربتها وياه كبرت الاثنين هو كانت الاثنين يعني متعلقين بيها ويحبوها وكان عنده صديق ايضا يجي يزوره ففي يوم هو قرر انه هو كان عنده هوس في العلوم قرر انه يسافر يدرس يكمل دراسته فمن سافر هوسه بالعلم خلاه ينسى اهله والاتصال بهم وقام يدرس الجسد البشري يعني تكوينته و و الاسرار اللي داخل الجسد البشري فقرر انه هو يخلق حياه يعني من من هيئه قام يعني ياخذ من الجثث وشكل فد جثه بشريه حتى بشعه كانت يعني مثل مونستر يعني يعني بشع شيء بشع مهم بالتجارب خلى يعني بث الروح شغله اشتغل فهو من شافه صار عنده حالة رعب ترك البيت والنزل بعد ورا ما رجع شافه ما موجود فهو كلش فرح هل اثناء في نفس اليوم اجى صديقه يمه اللي كان تاركه وما ادري يتصل بي فهو يعني كان كلش تعبان وهزيل من التجارب العلميه اللي كان يسويها فسقط وتمرض وبقى اعتقد ثلاث اشهر بالفراش وبعدين تحسنت تحسن وضعه بس هو لحد هاي الفتره ما سال عن اخبار اهله اوكي Okay, are you planning to finish the story and tell me more details about it in the future, in the coming meetings? Of course. Okay, what makes you uh, think of the lesson you learned from the story? What are the lessons you learned from the story? الدروس الحيات يسمونه moral lesson يعني درس الأخلاقي Because every story in English we read has a moral lesson or moral story behind it. Mm-hmm. Now, what is the moral lesson that you've learned? I mean, I know that you don't have a full picture of the story so far because it's a it's not it's an unfinished story. But what is the moral lesson that you think you've learned so far? Uh, maybe uh, you know I. Uh... I read only three chapters. Mm-hmm. You read? Uh, you mean you read I, three chapters? Yes, I read uh, mm-hmm. only three chapters. Uh, but I think uh, uh, maybe uh, sometimes uh, mm-hmm. obsession. How the uh, obsession is symbol? Obs- Ob- obsession. O P. O P obsession S E كلمة session يعني جلسة O B B as in boy of obsession please write it down هذا obsession هوس بالتملك Mm-hmm. Obsession in uh, science. Uh, this is the first thing, mm-hmm. and the um, uh, الغرور. Mm-hmm. الغرور. Okay. Well, غرور هنا نبيها أكثر من معنى. عادة نحن نقول كلمة cockery. Or cockiness. Cocky, yes. Mm, like someone who's cockiness. Yes. You uh, write it. 
I wrote it to you. Yes. Cockiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cockiness. Cockiness. Mm -hmm. Bombacity also is another word for it, but it's not that quite common. Uh, we have. No, still cockiness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Now uh, that is for the story. Let's uh, let's open. Uh, page number one of the story. I have a few questions about it. Yeah, page number one. It's a. Uh, I'm sorry. Page number six in in the book. I mean, page number one of the book uh, because it's uh, the first book, the first uh, story we read. اللي تبدي في ذلك الوقت كان الناس أيضا يتعلمون الكثير عن الأشياء الجديدة فيما يخص العلم. I think. هذه يعني الوسيلة إنه بدل ما تلجئين لل يعني للقاموس على كل كلمة أولاً هذه الوس بالمناسبة عفواً أنا ما لجأت أبداً للقاموس هذا شيء إيجابي this is something positive لأنه راح يسبب لي تشتيت إذا كل ساعة رايح أراجع للقاموس لا لا أبداً أبداً لأنه كلماتها جداً واضحة وقريتها يعني <تصفيق> متعه حتى ما يحتاج ابدا قاموس. <تصفيق> ثانيا انه القطعه يعني تقريبا اكو تزامن بين الكلمات العربي والانجليزي فما تضيعين المعنى مالت الكلمه بهذه الحاله. لا ولا حتى رجعت للعربي. ممتاز. اقرا بس الجزء الانجليزي. اه. Uh, اريد I want you to read the page number seven. But read it in a storytelling style. يعني قري لياها بطريقة القائية. I will give you an example. At that time, people were also learning a lot of new things about science. They were, for example, discovering something very important called electricity. Perhaps this was the secret of life. هذا ال يعني التعامل مع السطر اللي تشوفيه قدامك بالالقاء بالقراءه تفيدك انت كشخص انه تتعودين على اللفظ الكيدنس هذه الكلمه كلش احب انه تتعلميها اللي هي احنا نسميها كيدنس كيدنس الكلام كلش ضروري تتعلمي اريد تشيكيها بالقاموس لان هذه ما موجوده هنا كيدنس كتبت لك اياها الكلمه كيدنس كلش ضروري تعرفين هذه الكلمة اللي شنو معناها؟ إيقاع شنو معناها؟ إنه الكلام يكون بشكل إيقاعي بالضبط الإيقاع كيدنس إنه شنو هذا الكيدنس مالت الكلام when we talk at um, at that time people were also learning a lot of new things about science اقريها من البدايه للنهايه انا بس اريد اخذ ملاحظات على اللفظ لانه انا ام تيكينج فيو نوتس اباوت وات يو سيد نو نوت وات يا وات كيدنس اوف كورس بس هذه باي هذه لسه مال ملاحظات مختصره انا ارسلها لك uh, بس فور ريكوردز انه احنا لازم نركز عليها اللي هي التالي شوية اكو باك ستيج شغل باك ستيج مدى تشوفيه فلهذا احب انوهج عليه خليني اتوقف بالشات مات سكايب ده تشوفين بي بي ساوندز دو يو سي ذا شات اون سكايب Okay, we have a problem with P sound. We'll do a little bit of practice on it. Also, forget about yours. Cities and countries around the world, we have to learn how to say them better. Uh, when you say many questions, you say many questions. You do not say many questions. Hadi, you have to pay attention to it. Uh, I have many questions that I answered it. هنا انا ات ما يحتاج تقوليها وثانيا احنا من نقول ماني كويستشنز فهذا افتراض على انه هم ذي مو ات. ماني ستريس 
كلمة stress هنا ما تنجمع بمني يعني much I have a lot of stress I have much stress لأن هاي الكلمة غير قابلة للجمع هذه EXP اللي هي مثلا expression expedite express هذه عندنا دا تقوليها بطريقة يحتاج لها تدريب not to make you feel any negative but I'm just telling you so you can reprogram your mind Maturity increases. They see the dropping the s. لاحظ هذا الشيء. يعني من تتحدثين عن singular noun, we have to add an s to the verb. اللي هي s third singular pronoun. عندنا excessive use of past tense when you talk about present. You don't need to talk about past here. And g and k pronunciation issues. طبعا هذا g and k يعني مثلا something and my bag, something, my bag, back. الفرق بيناتهم أنه هذا K, هذا G. هذا K sound وهذا G sound. هذا يحتاج أنه ندرب عليهم أيضا. Let's go back. I want you to read, please, the list that I just sent you. Okay. At that time, people were also learning a lot of new things about science. They were, for example, discovering something very mm -hmm. important called electricity. Perhaps this was the secret of life. Mary shall I read and talk about these new ideas with her father and her friends. In May 18. 2014, Mary met Percy by, by Shelley. By Shelley. Shelley, Shelley later became a popular English writer, mm -hmm. and his poems are very famous. He and Mary fell in love, and two months later, Mary left England with him. They mm -hmm. traveled around Europe together. When Shelley's first wife died in December 1860, he married Mary. Mary and Shelley spent the, sum the summer of 1816 in Switzerland mm -hmm. at Lake Geneva. They were very happy there. Mm -hmm. Another friend of theirs, Byron, was also staying at a house near the lake. It was a very wet summer. They could not go out for walks or go sailing on the lake. So, to amuse themselves, the friends told stories. Frightening, frightening stories were very popular at that time. Late one night, Byron suggested a game mm -hmm. who, who, called write, who could write the most interesting horror story. Stop here. No. Um, who could write perfect. the most interesting horror story? Interesting. Who could write the most interesting horror story? Who could write the most interesting horror story? Say it again. Who could write the most interesting horror story? Mm -hmm. Mary's story was the best, and it became famous later as the book Frankenstein. Frank Frankenstein. 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 Mm -hmm. The book was a big success. 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 Mm -hmm. success. For the young writer, people were very <clears throat> surprised that it was written by a young woman. When Mary Shelley wrote her book, she was living in Switzerland. Uh -huh. Switz Switzerland. Switzerland. Switz Switzer Switzerland. 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 Yes. Switzerland. She described beautiful mountains 
and the glass glacier the glacier the glacier glacier uh, is is a mountain full of ice you know it's a uh, mountain it's a nice mountain yeah yes the sea of ice uh -huh. in her story uh-huh this place this place these these places these places yes these places are now very popular for holidays but when she was in Switzerland, mm -hmm. there were no trains or buses. 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 Buses, okay. Buses. It was not easy to travel through the mountains. mountains. Mm -hmm. It was slow and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. And uncomfortable. No, uncomfortable, comfortable, uncomfortable. Comfortable, comfortable. Uncomfortable. The Marco comfort. I comfort Tiftelf. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Uncomfortable. Yes. Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And roads were very steep. Mm -hmm. Mary, mm -hmm. Mary Shelley learned a lot from her father's ideas and from all the books that she read she read she read uh -huh. she read okay she put these ideas into her story she wanted to show that the monster was good at first he became evil because people were stupid and unkind stupid the story, uh -huh. stupid. The story also shows the scientific world can be very very dangerous 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 okay dangerous. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of the story i want to read it again to you <clears throat> at that time people were also learning a lot of new things about science they were for example discovering something very important called electricity perhaps this was the secret of life. Mary Shelley read and talked about these new ideas with her father and her friends. In May 1814, Mary met Percy Pysh Shelley. Shelley later became a popular English writer and his poems, 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 poems Poems, poems, poems are very famous. He and Mary fell in love, and two months later, Mary left England with him. With, with him, with him. That laughing, with him. They traveled around Europe together. When Shelley's first wife died. In December 1816, he married Mary. Mary and Shelley spent the summer of 1816 in Switzerland at Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva. Geneva. They were very happy there. Another friend of theirs, Byron, was also staying at a house near the lake. It was a very wet summer. They could, not, they could not go out for walks or go sailing on the lake. So to amuse themselves, the friends told stories. Frightening stories were very popular at that time. Late one night, Byron suggested a game. Who could write the most interesting horror story? That's the question. Mary's story was the best, and it became a famous became famous later as the book Frankenstein. The book was very the book was a big success for the young writer or writer or writer. People were very surprised that it was written by a young woman. When Mary Shelley wrote her her book, she was living in Switzerland. She described the beautiful mountains and the glacier, the sea of ice in her story. These places are now very popular for holidays. 
but when she was in Switzerland, there were no trains or, or buses. It was not easy to travel through the mountains. It was slow and uncomfortable, and the roads were very steep. Mary Shelley learned a lot from the, her father's ideas and from all the books that she read. She put these ideas into her story. She wanted to show that the monster was good at first. He became evil because people were stupid and unkind. The story also shows that scientific work can be very, very dangerous. I want you to read the story again. Start, please. At that time, people were also, were also learning a lot of new things about science. They were, for example, discovering something very important called electricity. Perhaps this was the secret of life. Mary Shelley read and talk about, <coughs> mm -hmm. about these new ideas with her father and her friends. Mm -hmm. In May 1814, Mary met Percy Boshi Shelley. Shelley later became a popular English writer. Mm -hmm. And his poems are very famous. He and Mary fell in love, fell in love. And two months later, Mary left England with him. Mm -hmm. They traveled around Europe together. When Shelley's first wife died, dead in December 1816, mm -hmm. he married Mary. Mary and Shelley spent the summer of 1816 in Switzerland. 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 Mm -hmm. At Lake Geneva. 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 Uh -huh. They were very happy there. Another friend Switzerland. of these. Listen. Of, sorry. Switzerland. 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 Yes. Switzerland. 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 Go. Okay. Another friend of theirs, Byron, was also staying at a house near the lake. It was a very wet summer. They could not go out walk for walks or go sailing on the lake so to, so to amuse themselves. The friends told stories. Frightening stories were very popular at that time. Late one night, Byron suggested a game. Who could write the most interesting horror story? Mary's story was the best and it became famous later as the book Frankenstein. The book was a big success for the young writer. People were very surprised that it was written by a young woman. When Mary Shelley wrote her book, she was living in Switzerland. She described the beautiful mountains and the glacier, the sea of ice in her story. Uh -huh. These places are now very popular for holidays. But when she was in Switzerland, there were no trains or buses. It was not easy to travel through the mountains. It was slow and uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and, and the roads were very steep. Mary Shelley learned a lot from her father's ideas and from all the books that she read. She put these ideas into her story. Mm -hmm. She wanted to show that the monster was, a, was good at first, it became evil because people were stupid and unkind. Mm -hmm. The story also shows that scientific work can be very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. All right, if you look at the film, 
هسه صادر جديد اسمه برايت بيرن اعتقد اسمه برايت بيرن برايت بيرن it's a movie uh, that is released in 2019 uh, brian burn is about a child who comes from space from outer space and he falls uh, in a forest with his spaceship a family happens to be nearby and they pick him up educate nurture him and take uh, takes care of him Okay, this family. Uh, he goes to school and everything goes all right until uh, he starts being, um, he gets bullied at a school by his fellow students. People start bullying him. Bully, يعني يتنمرون عليه. Now what happens is that they keep bullying him until he takes out his uh, hidden powers. So he starts, uh, you know, killing people um, and uh, doing this kind of bad things uh, to uh, to people, which you know gets very crazy. Actually, uh, the movie is called Bright Burn, uh, and uh, you can you can see the post for the movie here. I'm um, I'm downloading it to you right now, just to have a look at it. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. The movie is called Bright Burn. Bright Burn. I suggest that you watch it, but it's a, a horror movie. So if you are not into this kind of movies, uh, you might not like it that much. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it pretty much uh, is a roundup uh an updated version of Frankenstein where he started as a normal person and then uh, he became evil because of people, because of society. Uh, everyone is born um, with, uh, with the innocence in their inside and it happens that because of, and you've studied that probably in psychology, that the reasons of criminality comes from society, does not usually have to be genetic. Mm -hmm. What do you comment on that? Hmm. You mean uh, mm -hmm. we have a bad uh, side in, uh, in other genetic? Mm -hmm. In our genetic? لا بالمناسبة سمى الشيخ لي شكرا الفكرة طبعا هذا الموضوع هو nurture versus nature انت درست بعلم النفس أصل الجريمة هل هو جينات أم المجتمع يعني الشخص ها أحيانا للجينات وأحيانا للمجتمع مو أكو نسبة وتناسب أكو correlational relationship فأتي السؤال هو التالي هو people become evil because of genetics or because of society this is what I want you to comment on بس مو مو تنطيني ثلاثين ثانية comments okay. <laughs> I think uh, uh, every uh, uh, any person have uh, uh, two sides in in uh, uh, inside uh, uh, himself, uh, the bad uh, side and the good side, uh, and uh, and in genetic, in his genetic, uh, maybe uh, he have uh, a bad uh, things or uh, motivation mm -hmm. uh, to. Uh, to make a crime, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, sometimes the society have uh, 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 very uh, big int uh, influence in his behavior. Mm -hmm. If uh, the society, if his society is bad, maybe uh, uh, the genetic uh, uh, 
uh, control uh, on uh, the good side and uh, make him uh, a mm -hmm. bad uh, person. Okay. And uh, in other side, maybe the good society he lived with with it, with it uh, he lived. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, make uh, uh, maybe control on uh, on his genetic and uh, uh, and control himself to behave uh, like a good uh, man. But well, I mean, I agree to some extent here, um, so just because. You know, sometimes everything, like if we trace back the records of criminals, for example, uh, people who committed atrocious crimes, atrocious crimes, yani jara'im murawa'a, atrocious, atrocious crimes, hadi al kalima, atrocious crimes, yani jara'im murawa'a. We, we can't find anything negative about their uh, personality. Like they grew up as regular people in the family, they studied well, they finished their schools, and then for all of a sudden they became criminals. Do you hear, do you hear yes, what? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, th I think, uh... In this uh, uh, cases, mm -hmm. uh, the genetic, uh, the genetics, uh, control on his uh, behavior. Okay. And he uh, and uh, make him a bad uh, person. I see your point. Well, um, I think this uh, topic should be uh, discussed more thoroughly. Any sort of uh, thorough, thorough, yani mufassala or mushaba. In our next lesson, I would love to hear more details about the coming chapters that you read. Please finish as many as possible. I would love that you finish one or two and be ready to talk to me all the details about it. Also, we'll do a little bit of reading presentational style. So we uh, practice the cadence. We practice the intonation, we practice the pitches, we practice uh, rhythm and rhyme of the pronunciation, assimilation, elision, elision. هذه المهارات البلاغية نحن نسميها rhetorical skills. This is something necessary for you to work on. I think you, do, you did a wonderful job today. You did more than an amazing job, and I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for the progress that you made. Um, I'll send you a list of things that you should do this week. Our next meeting is going to be in two to three days from now. I'll just put it on my calendar and check with you if it's good for you and tell you back again, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I will wait. Okay, you will wait for me. <laughs> okay, thank you so much and have a wonderful and lovely rest of the day thank and you. say hi to your mom. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have bye. a wonderful, lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. مثل ما شفتوا شباب اللي هسه دا يسمعوني تقريبا 19 20 واحد هذا الدرس مالتنا هذا اليوم اتمنى تتابعوا من البدايه مره ثانيه لان درس كلش مسلي احنا دا نشتغل على اكثر من موضوع تعرفون المهارات باللغه الانجليزيه اكثر من مهاره listening speaking reading writing strategic competence communicative competence performative competence او الى ما يعني اه الى ما لا نهايه من skills فاليوم ركزنا على اكثر من سكيل مثل ما تشوفون بالبدايه يعني اخذنا نقاش عام اللي هو كونفرزيشن تحدثنا به عن اسئله تخص كونفرزيشن وات ميكس بيبول هابي وات ميكس بيبول ساد بيرسوناليتي كويستشنز كاركترز اوف بيرسوناليتي كويستشنز بعدين شفتنا النقاش الى ريدنج 
فاولا سوينا تركيز على ال productive skill اللي هي speaking وبعدين تشفتنا على ال receptive skill اللي هي reading وناقشنا الموضوع بصراحة هو الدرس مو متكامل لأنه دائما اكو ثغرات بالموضوع ثانيا الدرس هو via skype اني افضل سكايب اني من المتبنين للتعليم على سكايب لانه مثمر جدا ويقلل الجهد على الطالب وبنفس الوقت امكانيه الطالب تتطور باللسنينج بما انه احنا عندنا lack of listening كلش قوي فهذا الدرس كان لكم تقدر تتابعوه من البدايه تدرب على الاسئله اللي نشرتهن وروابط القصه وروابط اسئله وقصص قصيره على هذه الشاكله موجوده بالروابط بالبوست اتمنى يكون مفيد لكم ربي يحفظكم Oh, uh, have a rest, lovely rest uh, morning or evening, whenever and wherever you are. I hope 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 you